All right, this is it. This is my train I am taking from Stockholm all the way to Narvik, Norway. It takes, I think, 19 or 20 hours. This is it, car number 14. Okay. This is my private room. Um, we have a private sink, some soap, a table, I think. So there you go. You can sit here, you can write in your notebook all of your upcoming travel plans. One more thing here. When you turn the lights out, Look how dark it gets in here. It's going to be a really nice night of sleeping, I think. Check this out. Oh, yeah. And I can't see the light switch turn off. There we, there we go. Can't wait to sleep tonight after I check out the dining car and shower. Reindeer stew with chanterelles, mashed potatoes, and lingonberries. And I got a Noriscom beer, which was uh, made, is made in Luleå. Very tasty, very tasty, very, very smooth and easy to eat, very soft meat. Oh, excellent. This was about $11, I think, $12. The beer was $9. Ooh, good. Packs a punch. It's real like a uh, boom. Hit you. It's sharp. Bang. All right, let's see if I can set this bed up, which I've never done before. Nope, right, let me try again. I did it with a minimum of fuss and embarrassment. Okay, a modicum. And now the part I'm really looking forward to seeing on a train, the shower. Okay, here it is. A nozzle that comes off and it goes up and down. It's adjustable if you want to just leave it up there. It is dry now. No one's used it for a while. Maybe no one's used it the whole journey. Maybe I'm the first. Oh, what's this, by the way? dryer. No wonder I didn't recognize it. Okay, that was horrific. The water never came out, hardly at all. It would do that little tiny drip. Sometimes it would stop altogether. Sometimes three or four little drips would come at the same time, and those were the good times. Uh, it also got cold again. But uh, I did 
soap off fairly well. I soaped off 50, 60%, and got all the soap off with the water. Um, so it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was, it was the worst shower I've ever had in my life. It was an abomination of a shower. But uh, I gave it the old college try, didn't I? And actually, it wasn't ice cold, it was just cold, Sweden cold. It was kind of invigorating. Because there never was enough water to like douse me in cold water. It was just little little localized areas on my shoulder and stuff. So yeah, I, I, I would try it again just for the just for the <laughs> challenge. So time for what I hope will be a very relaxing night. The train's pretty smooth, and outside I know that there's just endless dark Swedish forest. See you in the morning after what I think will be a very pleasant sleep. Oh, by the way, the bed is plenty long enough. Um, I'm like 5'9 or 5'10 or something, and there's way a lot of room to spare here, so no problem there. Good night. Good morning, it is 7.13 a.m. Slept quite well. What's for breakfast I hear you ask? Well, we have some fiefle or a crema, which I think is like a, like a cheese roll. Anyway, yogurt granola, a cheese roll, and some coffee. In the Swedish countryside, and we're not yet at the Arctic Circle. I thought we would be, but we're not. We're still like 150 kilometers from it, so. It is misty, it is a lot of trees, everything is yellow and green and gray because of the mist. And it's going to be a superb breakfast. Look at this. to go to the very front of the train to see if we can see anything. as far as we can go, uh, car number 10. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is the train that has just arrived at Boden, Boden Station. My original plan, the original tickets that I bought, was one train from Stockholm all the way to Narvik. Unbroken, no changing trains. And a couple weeks before the trip started, I got an email from the train company said that train was canceled because of track maintenance. So we've been switched to two trains and we have to change here now at Bodin. The changeover is only 13 minutes, so it's not that long. 
we had a private compartment in the first part of the uh, train, the first train. The second train, I don't know if we have a private compartment. I don't know what to expect. I got the sense from something I saw online that it was just uh, like two seats because it's not a nighttime train. So maybe there are no private compartments. I don't know. I uh, see that train was, how long was it? How long were we on that train? 14 hours, I think. And this next train is about seven and a half hours and it'll be all daytime, although it is raining and cloudy here. Uh, that's how it goes in Scandinavia. Um, but we're gonna go all the way to Narvik on the next train, maybe in seats, maybe in a private compartment. Seven and a half hours on this train. No Wi-Fi. Um, just looking at the cloudy trees going by. I'm not sure, but I think we just passed the Arctic Circle. I wasn't filming out the window, but I saw a sign that says, it said, Pol Polcirkel. All right, we're at a stop. We're at Yelevara Station. Um, we are here for, I think, like 25 minutes. This is what I think is true. So we stepped off the train. I hope the train doesn't leave. Um, a little 25 minute break here. Um, the restaurant car is closed until we leave again, which is 1 p.m., which is fine with me. I'm just gonna wait until then and I'm looking to have lunch then. Anyway, I'm gonna check out Yelevara, Ye Yelevara a little bit. I've never been here. <laughs> here it is, the front of Yelevara Station. Very nice, isn't it? But what interests me more is this building over here, dedicated to the bus gods. It is noticeably colder up here. Um, I don't know how cold, I would say it's probably about seven or eight degrees Celsius. So I'm glad I'm wearing my coat and my undershirts and all that stuff. And there's a store here. Let's see what's in the store. Check it out, it's a store. It's called Railway Stations Kiosk. So we're just walking around out here for like two or three minutes holding these cold Coca-Cola cans. Man, my hands are freezing. Green falafel of peas, red cabbage, mango, and tomato bean hummus. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrap. And of course, sour cream and onion potato chips. It tastes like it sounds. It tastes like it reads. It's just good. It's just good.
The thing about leaving Kiruna to uh, Narvik though is that the train pulls into Kiruna this way and then pulls back out and goes backwards. It's not backwards, but I'm sitting backwards the rest of the way to Narvik, I think. So. We just stopped at Abisko Station just for a second, but outside the window, I think I see, I'm so, we're starting to see like bigger mountains and stuff outside the window right here, stopping this station. I think I see the first snow. I think there's a little patch of snow on top of this mountain. We just left Björkliden Station. Uh, we're still in Sweden, but right here we're passing by Tornetresk Lake, which is probably the highlight of the Kiruna to Narvik portion. It's a like a 70 kilometer long lake. Totally beautiful. Anyway, let's find a cleaner window and we'll take a look at it. We are now passing the border between Sweden and Norway. Welcome to Norway. We just passed the border. We are now in Norway. train into Narvik. Look. About 22 hours after we left Stockholm, something like that. Two trains, three meals, lots of amazing scenery, one international border crossing, and we're in Narvik. Narvik. As the final welcome for me here to Narvik, when preparing to when preparing for this whole journey, um, I got addicted to watching the Narvik webcam, and I planned for the last few weeks when I got here, when I got close to this fountain here, I would turn to the webcam and say hello. The webcam streams 24 hours on YouTube. So anyway, here we go. I'm here. Now, where is that hotel? <laughs> 